let's go over this. Let's go over this real quick. So this is our failure trade, okay? And Gerald's going to record this. So yesterday, let's talk about smaller Rinko sizes. Can we look for the failure trade? The failure trade is called my Babe Ruth trade. Why do I call it a Babe Ruth trade? Because this low of this pull-in was almost 55 and 3 quarters. Low is 34 and 3 quarters. That's 20 S&P point potential. That's 20 S&P point potential off of a 13 Rinko. Usually the 13 Rinko, you're batting singles, sometimes doubles, but Typically not triples or home runs, right? But this is a way you can capture some nice size ticks on looking for a failure trade. This one yesterday was 44 and a quarter down to, what, 35, almost 10 S&P points there also. How can we, so we know how to capture of all the videos we've done on the failure trade. So this is a failure trade off the 13 Rinko. So this is a smaller Rinko size, so you can get a smaller stop. Fill your setup off the 113 Uni Rinko. So how can we take advantage of using a smaller Rinko size? And this happens on a weekly basis on the smaller Rinko size if you match it up like this. Here's what we want to do. We want our larger Rinko size to be showing trend. So the 13, which is right here, this is the 113, 13, 113, 13, 24, 7. How can we take advantage of this trade and this trade? Why am I shorting this here and here when the zones are green? Because the zones are a trend filter, right? Well, I teach traders and educate traders on the 113 chart, my trend filter, I use a 140, 40 as my trend filter. On my zones, I'm using a 140-40, not a 165-65. What that allows me to do is I see these small um, zones that, that show opposite color of what trend is actually happening. So when you see if, if trend is overall down, let's look at the larger Rinko sizes. So our larger Rinko size all day yesterday, this is today, we'll go over today's trades we're looking for here in a minute. So we look at yesterday morning from right here at uh, 238, we had a slingshot, 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 slingshot. This is off my 12020, 12020, 10 days bet, 24-7. So zones are down hard. They were down all morning, all morning until we got a trend change at 1043. So... How can we take advantage of failure trades on the 113.13? Very simple. If your 120.20 is red, meaning we are selling here, that's a slingshot, selling here, slingshot, selling here, slingshot, right? Go above 80, back down below the bull zone, above 80, back down right there below the bull zone for your entry, 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 right? Had four good slingshots in a row yesterday morning. What you can do is, is the smaller 113 Rinko size, the zones will change faster than the 120. So what happens is, is you will get a move up in the market like this, move up in the market or move up in the market into the zone. And at, in actuality, your 113 is changing a zone green. That doesn't mean the trend's green because your larger Rinkos take precedence over the 113.13. So here's what you can do. If I'm red zones, I'm looking to short all morning, right? Off my 120. My 20 is my basis for my trades, and then I got a 140 over here also. So now you know the zones are red all morning. What happens when you get a 113.13 that has these green zones that pop up? It's called opportunity. Now we have opportunity. This is a 20 S&P point potential on this failure. This is a 10, over 30 points potential on two trade failures. What I want to do is I'm not excited about the upside because my 20 Rinko is on the downtrend. So if my 13 is changing trend, trying to show change trend, I want to show me a failure trade. Because what's a failure trade? A failure trade is a failed slingshot. 
So when it's coming down into my zone, you look at the small oscillator. Does it get above my bare zone, minimum of 65? No. More importantly, watch if when you are in a downtrend, you're red on the 120. Watch your zones turn green on your 113. As soon as they turn green, I'm looking for a failed slingshot and I'm looking for a failure trade. Easiest way to do it, watch your large oscillator. If you're shorting, it has to go below, has to, below my 40 threshold. This is back tested over 30 years. My 30, right there, my, my 40 threshold. Once it gets below 40 threshold, what I want to do, I want to see the counter tra tra traders pump it up, a couple green bars, even two double dojis, and they give me a red reversal bar. As long as my large oscillator stays below 65 on when, when I get pulled in on the red bar, that's a short. Same thing over here. I got a trend change. Here's your first wave up. I, on the microphone yesterday, I said I wasn't excited about this because I'm looking for it to sell. Sure enough, we get the large oscillator gets below 40 threshold. It gives me one counter trend trade green bar. It goes back to red, and the market falls through on a beautiful trade to the downside. So you can capture failure trades off the 113.13, but you better be with the 120 or 130 trend. And the easiest way to spot them, if my 120 isn't an uptrend, then I don't want to look for failure buys. If I'm looking at the 120s in a downtrend, I'm looking for failure sells. I want you to watch that or go this weekend and watch how this works. When this lines up, these are not small moves. This is a 20 point potential almost, and this is a, a 10 point potential almost on two failure trades. The key is you want your larger Rinko size to do that. If you want to see how to trade the uh, failures on larger Rinko sizes, like the 120, it's the same thing. Just uh, we got videos for that under Day Trading the Futures under videos.